The ghost effect is a really simple yet popular effect that many professionals use in music videos, event recaps, or just for the heck of it. So that's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the ghost effect in DaVinci Resolve and then take it up a notch by adding this cool looking glow effect around the ghost effect. All of that stuff and more coming up. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy Ripka and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about different effects, transitions, and workflows that'll help you become a better editor. So if you wanna level up your editing skills, click the subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on the newest videos put out. But let's get into it. So now that we're in DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna go ahead and start making this ghost effect. So in the program, we're gonna go ahead and drag our clip out onto the timeline. And once you take a look at it and you find the places where you want this effect to take place, you're gonna go ahead and duplicate our clip by holding down Alt and clicking and dragging the duplicated layer onto Video Layer 2. Then in the Inspector tab, we're gonna change the opacity of this top layer, the duplicated layer, from 100 to 50. Then once you find the place where you want this effect to take place, move back a few frames and make your first cut on that top layer. Then move forward to where you want the effect to end and then add your second cut. So now this little section in the middle right here is where we want this effect to take place. So we can just go ahead and delete the part to the left of it, we don't want that. And then I'm gonna move forward a little and add another cut for the second section. So ultimately you're gonna do this for each place where you want the ghost effect to happen. You're just gonna cut the section out where you want the effect and delete the rest of the clip because you don't need it. Now as you see on mine, I have two different sections that I want this ghost effect to happen at. So now to actually get the ghost look, we're gonna have to slow down the clip. So we're gonna right click on that first clip and then select Retime Controls. Now we'll grab this top blue tab on the right side here and drag it over to the right just a little. And you'll see that the clip gets longer because we're ultimately slowing it down. You can see the little number right here goes down to 91% of normal speed. Now for the look that I'm going for, somewhere around 90% looks good. You can drop it more if you want more of that ghost effect. You can bring it up to like 95% if you want less of it. It all depends really on the look that you're going for. So when we play it back, you can see that we're getting that ghost look now. So just do the same exact thing to the other clip. Open the retime controls, grab the blue tab, and slow it down to about 90%. Then you can just close out of retime controls. So now we have the ghost effect in two different places, but one of the things you may notice is that it actually doesn't blend together well. So we're gonna have to blend it. We're gonna have to make it look nice because, you know, you don't want crappy looking video effects. You gotta look good. So we can easily blend the clips together by grabbing this white slider right here and just bring it in a few frames into the clip. Ultimately, we're just fading it in. It's kind of like a cross dissolve, but for like the beginning of a clip, it's just a fade, but it helps blend together so it works perfectly. So just repeat this on the beginning and the end of each clip that is part of the ghost effect. So now when we look at it, we don't have that like crazy abrupt jarring. It, it just goes into the ghost effect and then fades back out from the ghost effect pretty seamlessly and it just looks nice overall. Like it's really one of these cool effects that's super good for music videos and that kind of stuff. Now, as I had mentioned in the beginning of the video, we're gonna go ahead and add like an actual neon outline to our ghost effect because that just kinda looks cool, you know? So hold up, I'm gonna quickly interrupt here. If you haven't already heard, I've just released this YouTube Asset Starter Pack. Now I made this pack because I've just seen a lot of like really bad low quality subscribe buttons, bell notifications, and like buttons. And honestly, like I want your videos to look really good. So that's why I made this pack that has 24 high quality custom made subscribe animations, bell notifications, and like buttons, along with custom made sound effects. So if you guys want high quality YouTube assets, like go with your high quality video, then click the link in the description. Right now it's 40% off because I really just want you guys to have good high quality assets. Anyway, back into the video. We're gonna go ahead and add like an actual neon outline to our ghost effect. So to do that, we're gonna open up our effects library at the top left here and go down to open effects. Then find edge detect and drag the effect onto our ghost layer. Then you'll see that edge detect does exactly what it says. It just detects the edges. And it kind of gives it that like little neon colored vibe there. But I want to make it even more apparent. So in the inspector tab, you'll see that this open FX tab popped up. Click on that and it's going to show our settings for the edge detect effect. So under threshold, I'll bring it up to about 0.7. And then under brightness, I'll bring it up to where our glow is pretty noticeable. Like I want it to look very noticeable. 
And then finally, at the bottom, click this checkbox that says Edge Mask Overlay. This is ultimately just gonna overlay the edge mask on top of our clip and not remove some of the brightness. So now that that's done, this is what the edge glow ghost effect looks like. All right, so there you have it, the ghost effect in DaVinci Resolve. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a like and also share it with your friends so that they know how to put this effect in their video too. Also, I have a question. What do you guys think about the possibility of me doing like two videos a week? Let me know in the comments below. And also, if you have some ideas for videos, also put those down there too, because two videos is like double what I do right now. So let me know in the comments below. And also, if you want more videos like this, click the subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on the newest ones put out. You guys have no clue how much hitting that subscribe button actually just helps the overall channel. As usual, the video on the top is a video all about the glass effect in DaVinci Resolve. And the video on the bottom is a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.